This nearly invisible dot among the stars is an unusual rogue planet. Although this object, located 20 light years away from the Sun, doesn't have its own star, the sky around it isn't at all as dark as it might seem. Bright flashes light it up every now and then. The thing is, this rogue planet is 12 times more massive than Jupiter, and its magnetic field is 200 times more powerful. And this is what creates regular light shows featuring northern lights. But there are even more staggering worlds in our vast and endless space. In this video, you'll find out how can a planet be ice cold and extremely hot at the same time? Is there a place where things fall not down, but upward? And what are the strangest known exoplanets? In which of the worlds could you take the coolest photos? Just 57 light years away from Earth, there's a gas giant called GJ504b. We'll call it the Cherry Bomb. Planets like that are usually yellow-brown like Jupiter or orange like Saturn, but this one is very young and bright pink thanks to its heat. From the Cherry Bomb's orbit, you could take some really mind-blowing selfies, no filter needed. Especially since the nearest star is very far away and won't spoil any of the pictures with its light. And this planet, 400 plus light years from Earth, eclipses its star itself. Scientists unofficially nicknamed it Mega Saturn, as rings of this gas giant are 200 times bigger. Their radius is half the distance between the Earth and the Sun. You'll need more than two years to fly around its outer ring, even if you have the fastest of rockets. What a terrific view, though! There's another exoplanet situated 320 light years away from us, and this is where we can find the most unique scenery. It orbits in a system consisting of three stars. When one goes down, the other two rise, and vice versa. If you think your working day is too long, you should know that here you may have to wait for nighttime for more than a hundred years. So far, I've told you only about gas giants, but rocky worlds can be much more interesting. Where do we find exoplanets with the most unusual surfaces? There's Venus in our solar system with its sulfuric acid desert where temperatures may reach 450 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, 560 light years away from us, there's the Kepler 10b exoplanet whose surface is three times as hot. This world is one giant hell furnace where temperatures rise to 1500 degrees. The planet is 20 times closer to its star than Mercury is to the Sun. To come down here, you'll need heat-resistant platforms like those on Mustafar, the lava planet from Star Wars. And if you don't want to get burned like Anakin Skywalker, be sure to take the high ground. But have you heard about the planet of contrasts? Very close to Earth, 20 light years away, Gliese 581c constantly looks at its red dwarf star with only one of its sides. And although the planet's situated in the habitable zone, just like ours, there's some blazing inferno happening on its surface. If you land on the light side, you'll find yourself in the middle of a scorching desert similar to Venus, where constant storms rage on and on. But having moved to the dark side to cool off as soon as possible, you'd immediately get frozen to the core. In this place, more or less tolerable conditions can be found only in a thin strip of land between the two hemispheres. But what if I tell you that the surface can be both hot and cold simultaneously? 33 light years away from Earth, there lies the planet of burning ice. You may come down to its ground only if you have a heat-resistant spacesuit, and you'll be greeted by icy plains which temperature exceeds 500 degrees Celsius. In heat like that, even lead will melt, but water is solid here. How come? The answer is the crushing gravity and enormous pressure. So even a tourist clad in a heat-resistant spacesuit will break their legs here. But don't worry. We have a special indestructible suit that can withstand just about anything, and we certainly can't go further without it. 
I mean to the planets with the most extreme weather conditions. Here on Earth, we have rains, snowfall, hail. At worst, precipitations might take the form of fish or toads. But it doesn't rain on the planet located as far as 65 light years from Earth. It glasses. In the atmosphere of this gas giant, there's a lot of silicates, translucent blue stones. Under the influence of the heat produced by the nearby star, they evaporate and form clouds. Subsequently, they produce precipitation that falls down like blue glass. Sounds like a beautiful sight to see. But I forgot to tell you that because of the mighty wind reaching 2.5 kilometers per second, the glass falls to the ground horizontally and cuts and sweeps away everything it meets. For that reason, astronomers called this place the Slasher Planet. And Hat P7b planet, which is 1,000 light years away, is the Sapphire Slasher. There are no shards of glass, but real jewels soaring in its heated atmosphere. These aluminum oxide clusters are, in fact, rubies and sapphires. But the weather is not only about precipitation. On Earth, there are sea tides caused by the Moon. In a star system situated 1,200 light years away from Earth, tides occurring there are the most destructive. Every three months, a gas giant, Kepler-36c, passes so close to the rocky planet Kepler-36b that it triggers powerful earthquakes and volcanic eruptions on the latter. But most of all, planets are influenced by their stars. And sometimes, this influence is genuinely astounding. What worlds up there have the most unusual and extreme interstellar weather? Any massive object in space attempts to take the form of a sphere, but this exoplanet, 870 light years from Earth, is oblong like an egg. That's because WASP-12b lies so close to its star that it nearly devours the planet alive. If you try to jump from a platform standing on the convex side of the planet, you won't be flying down for too long. The star's gravity will pull you up and carry you away to outer space. Scientists have estimated that the mass that the egg planet loses every second equals the weight of a thousand great Egyptian pyramids. In 10 million years, the gas giant will be gobbled up completely. Now, this is a tiny planet located more than 2,000 light years away from us, and it looks like it has a serene life. But this star that dims in the sky is actually the undead. This celestial cadaver is a powerful pulsar that showers the planet with storms of radiation and x-rays. Compared to this world, the molten reactor in Chernobyl is a little piece of paradise. Only spirits of the dead could possibly survive here. That's why astronomers call this planet Poltergeist. Even a super spacesuit won't protect you from radiation poisoning, so you'll have to get some treatment after this tour. Fortunately, on the planet Kepler-438b, located almost 500 light years away from Earth, you'll feel right at home as this is, in fact, another Earth. And this planet is the most extraordinary of them all. Because a world that can provide suitable conditions for a human or any other life is quite a rarity in the universe.